Hello, Rob from Fountain Pen Journey. Today I'm going to talk about the issue of collecting fountain pens with the specific emphasis on special edition and limited edition fountain pens. Now, we all love collecting fountain pens. If you're watching this video, there's a good chance that you have more than five fountain pens and you're interested in what new fountain pens come out and what you know, what they write like, so I review them. But when it comes to collecting fountain pens, now I know some people may go into, I'll put my hands here so you've got something to look at. Some people may go into collecting certain models of vintage pens, like, I don't know, Parker 51s, something like that. Um, and some people might just go, you know what, I collect the super high-end Expensive fountain pens like Visconti. I mean, Visconti Homo Sapiens comes out in a whole series of fountain pens. Um, quite honestly, you know, if you've got the money to buy those, then I hope you enjoy them. But uh, I think the Visconti Homo Sapiens series, you know, you <laughs> go for the Bronze Age, you've, you've got the one that you want. That's it. I got that as my Grail pen and quite... <laughs> <laughs> quite soon after I thought you know what I would never buy another one of these because they're just too damned expensive so buying the really exclusive special and limited editions of those fountain pens for hundreds or thousands of pounds is absolutely nuts but that's just me however throughout 2022 I realized that some manufacturers are beginning to get a bit silly with their special editions. Pelican, I'm not slagging Pelican off because I love Pelican fountain pens, but Pelican M200, M205 fountain pens, generally they produced one of those a year as a special edition, um, and I really love them. I don't mind the outlay for one of their fountain pens. In fact, I have, um, I have one here which I purchased. This is the uh, Golden Barrel from 2021. Um, funny thing is that Pelican seem to have got into a cycle of producing two special editions per year, which is a bit weird, but anyway, I, I don't mind that. I'm quite happy with that. So Pelican Golden Barrel, Pelican M200 go Golden Barrel. Yeah, really, really nice pen. I'm happy. One or two of these a year is good. Um, but where things go a bit awry are things like this. Now, let me get my... Here's two examples. These are fountain pens which I enjoy using because they are such good everyday carry fountain pens. The Lamy Safari. This is the pink version I reviewed it, I uh, did a video with the pink ink. I bought this um, with my wife's Christmas, no, that sounds bad. My wife bought me this for Christmas last year, basically said, there, there's some money, go off around the uh, place where you work um, and buy, a, buy, buy yourself some stuff for Christmas. And I was a bit pushed. I worked in a shopping centre as compliance manager, and the, uh, <laughs> there was limited places, but there was a, uh, oh, what was the name of the station is? Paper Chase? No, it wasn't Paper Chase. Anyway, um, and they had a few Lamy Safaris, and I've never had a pink Lamy Safari, and I always quite fancied one, because I quite like using pink inks, pink pens. So I bought this pen for myself for Christmas from my wife. And it's been inked up since Christmas 2021. Every day of 2022. So it is a real everyday carry fountain pen for me. So yeah, very happy. Pink is one of the basic colours. You can buy pink Lamy Safaris wherever they tend to sell them. Um, another everyday carry from this year is the Lamy All Star in this green, uh, which I briefly reviewed recently. And the problem that I've started to realise is 
not specifically with Lamy too much because I mean they released in 2020 this special edition strawberry and they also released the cream version which I also bought because I don't actually mind Lamy Safari fountain pens or the All Stars because they are quite affordable you're not looking at too much money I mean, and anything—they're not over thirty pounds, so you know, you 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 know what to expect. It's just a different colour. So their special editions are not too bad. They went from doing the odd one to several. I mean, we've got things like the, uh, the oh, here's the Lamy Safari Mango from twenty twenty one. Um, I think it was twenty twenty one. So, yeah, really, really nice. And you can add things like this. Uh, can't even remember what colour this was. This is a problem. Mint or something like that. There's the red one with the black clip. Yeah. There's the Lamy Safari original colour from 2020. I have got the terracotta here with me. Here's the Lamy All-Star. This is a graphite version. There's the Lamy Safari charged green. There's a Lamy All Star dark purple. Lamy All Star. I don't know what colour that is, but can you can you see this? This is the issue with special editions. They start to rack up, and if you've got two or three in a year, I can handle that. When they're, when they're inexpensive, I'm quite happy with that. But I'll use these two as an example. And thankfully, the red and the strawberry are quite different. But anyway, let's move these ones aside and talk about these two all-stars. Very, very, very similar. And this is something that I was thinking, you know, what's the point of very similar colours um, in fountain pens from the same model. It, it, it's you, you get into this collector's mentality. Is there a lot of difference in it? Yeah, looking at it, yeah, there is. Which do I prefer? Well, I prefer the dark purple. Um, but if this came available next year, say, for example, new colour from Lamy, would I buy it? Probably. At the price, yes, and the fact that it's available. And what I really, what I really, really want to talk to you about is this absolute... I, I, I am probably... I'm trying not to swear. This is just a handful. I grabbed a handful of these. These things. When you collect fountain pens, you kind of get into the habit of collecting certain things, whether it's a brand or whether it's a, um, a certain model. Quebeco Sport. Yeah, this is a handful. This isn't even all of them. This is just a lot of the same model. So we've got all sorts of stuff here. I mean, we've got mint. We've got Frosted coconut. Um, blush pitaya. I think this one was called something like... This is a different all sport from a number of years ago, which is a sort of plastic metallic colour. Oh, there's a Colpens exclusive. Uh, Caveco manufactured fountain pen there. Kind of ignore that one. We've got the Ice Sport Black or Grey, whatever you want to call it. Got the Navy Blue. Oh, there's another Cult Pens exclusive Caveco. But anyway, ignore those. We've got the Ice Sport Orange. Uh, Ice Sport Red. Uh, I think that might be one of the, oh, what's this one, uh, this mango or something like that. We've got another orange, got two of those. Got the All Sport Black, All Sport, st 
stonewashed blue, all sports stonewashed black. Uh, yellow ice sport coral special edition uh, green standard basically um, we've got a blue and blue this was the fruity series from a few years back oh, I can't even remember but you can see we, we, we're getting a lot of fountain pens there's a grey Special edition from a few years ago, Galen Leather. Special edition from 2021. And that's just a sample. And I am not a collector. Well, by some people's standards. There is a Caveco Collectors group on Facebook. And that is quite phenomenal when people show off their different coloured versions. I mean, when, when you look at, say, for example, this Caveco um yellow is right banana or something somebody will put a nasty comment down below i'm sure they will going oh you can't say that about caveco but caveco is absolutely the worst when you see po posts on facebook with people who cave who collect caveco sport fountain pens and there's five different yellow fountain pens all the same, just different yellows. And a lot of them are very special editions that you can only get in certain markets. Um, I really like the Orangina, which was a Spanish exclusive orange version of the Caveco Sport. Really liked it, but I wasn't willing to pay 50 or 60 pounds, including the shipping, um, just for a Caveco Sport. I, I, I collect them, I like them. But over the last couple of years, and certainly throughout 2022, I kind of realised that Caveco and uh, they're beginning to take the pace a bit. Um, there's been two Colt Pens exclusive Caveco Sports in 2022, and you factor in every other manufacturer in uh, every other retailer, sorry, in other countries. You know, you get the Ackerman. Special edition. You get the Fontaplumo special edition. You get the Tokyo bike, only available in certain markets. You know, and suddenly you've you've got a whole rack of collectible fountain pens, which are difficult to obtain and very very similar. In fact, far too similar to other ones. I mean, when you see that there are five versions of the Caveco Sports in yellow, and just subtly different, and the worst one of the lot, because I like grey fountain pens, are things like the Caveco Sport, and I, just off the top of my head, I think it's something like, there's a pebble version, concrete version, grey version, stone version or something, there's, there's basically four different versions and they're all very much the same grey. Slightly different shade, slightly different tone, but next to each. If 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 I had them, all the grey Caveco Sports together in, in one place and forgot which one was which, I would not have a clue which was the Pebble version, for example. Um, and the fact that you can't obtain these, they're not generic, they're not easily obtainable i mean it, the weird thing is with caveco even things like the ice sport seems to have basically run out of supply in a lot of the retailers so you know you, you've got your coral version don't even know if it's available i haven't seen one of these available for some time since it was released the galen leather special edition from 2021 in this nice clear purple um, I believe it's sold out within something like two weeks and people are after them. My Cognac um, Galen Leather Special Edition from uh, 2021, 20, I think. Um, you know, they're, they're not even marketed as limited editions. They're not numbered. They just happen to be special editions which are in very, very short supply. And yes, I can see where this pushes 
real avid collectors to go, I must have that one, must have that one. Early, um, earlier, when was it? 2021, Quebeco Sport, all sport, Hello Kitty, pretty little pen. It was 90 quid, you know. The, it, what's making it worse is the fact that these things are not as obtainable as they could be, but they're also so damned expensive for what they are. Um, and Caveco, I'm, I'm sorry, but, you know, I you can only release so many pens which I'm going to buy, and these special editions are now beginning to really put me off. In fact, a lot of the special editions, or the, if, if you like, the limited production run editions that Caveco have churned out throughout 2021 and 2022, I simply just haven't bothered with. Um... The Sage, for example, I like the colour. I'll probably buy one of those in the coming months. But all the other ones, no. The Ruby, I liked it, but no, not at that price. And no, I, 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 you know, how many of these Caveco Sports do I actually want to write with? I mean, I, I like all of these. If there was one that was a very specific colour... I'm going to go, yeah, yeah, I might buy that. But other other than that, if you're going to churn out 20 different colours a year, it's too many. Period. There we go. I had to say it. That's what I feel about Quebeco and their limited or special editions. Lamy I can handle. Lamy, you know, one, two, three of these a year, one, two or three of these a year, I can deal with at prices and, and also the availability. I'm happy with that. Pelican, yeah, happy with that. More expensive, but at the end of the day, you know, if you're only going to do one or two, I can handle that and make them available in all markets. That's fine. I'm okay with that. But Caveco, seriously, you need to rein it in. So, I don't know what your guys' thoughts are on this. Leave us a comment down below in the uh, comment section. Thanks very much for watching, and I shall see you next time. Bye.